Hello, friends. Welcome to this updated version of the eight brocades qigong practice. I originally uploaded the video two years ago. While the practice itself is a classic, but many of you mentioned the background music was too loud. At that time, I didn't have enough experience creating videos or balancing sound levels. Now, I re-released the video with improved audio so you can fully enjoy the benefit of this powerful mind and body practice. Find even ground and stand tall, reaching the crown of your head towards the sky. Shift your weight onto your right foot, then step your left foot out to hip width. Slightly bend your knees and place your hands over your abdomen as if you're holding an energy ball. Relax your shoulders and keep your spine straight. In this Taoist Uji posture, imagine your bones stacking from earth to heavens. Focus your attention to your lower Dantian and breathe softly and deeply, finding calm and serenity. The first flow. Hands hold up the heavens to balance the San Jiao, the triple warmer meridian. We will do six repetitions. Interlace your fingers. Slowly lift the hands over your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Flip the palms. Press the hands towards the sky. Look up once. Inhale. Look forward and relax your shoulders. As you exhale, slowly open your arms. Keep your wrists engaged. Interlace the fingers once again and repeat. This first movement primes the body for the several movements that follows. The triple warmer, the San Jiao, connects and coordinates communications between the organs and the systems in the body. It impacts the immune system and our ability to manage stress. Press into the base of the palm and stretch the tendons. This also stimulates all three yin meridians in the upper body. Calming the triple warmer can also improve sleep and relieve shoulder stiffness. Last one. Slowly return to the Wuji posture for the second flow, drawing the bow to shoot the bird of prey three times on each side. Cross your arms over your chest, left over right. While step your left foot out into a horse stance, inhale, exhale, draw the bowl, stare at your index finger. Keep your thumb and index finger straight with all the other fingers bent on both hands. Shift your weight back to center. Step the right foot out and cross your right arm over the left. Inhale. Exhale as you draw the bow and find your aim. This movement strengthens the lungs and improves liver function. Two more times on each side. With the fingers bent, Except for the thumb and index finger, which remain open, you help channel qi to this side of the body, aiding in clearing blockages. When you aim and focus on a target, you strengthen the liver as liver energy rises through the eyes. One more repetition on each side.
Return to center, gathering your hands in front of your lower Dantian. Prepare for the third flow, separating earth and heavens to condition the stomach and the spleen for a total of six repetitions. Inhale, lift the left hand, flip the palm, press it towards the sky, bottom hands press down towards the earth. The left finger is pointing towards the midline, bottom finger is pointing forward. Slowly release the arms for a full cycle of breath. Then repeat alternating arms. This movement conditions the stomach and the spleen, promoting good absorption and digestion. As you stand tall, separating heaven and earth, feel the stretch across your abdomen and your spleen. The sense of ease in the body. One more on each side. Slowly release your arms down, moving into the fourth flow. Wise owl, gaze back to eliminate the five fatigues and seven negative emotions. Three repeats on each side. Stand up straight. Inhale. Exhale as you turn your head to the left and rotate your arms inside out, spreading your fingers and pointing your thumbs back. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale. Turn your gaze to the right. This movement offers many benefits as it stimulates the lungs, pericardian, and heart meridians. It also opens the Dajui point, which is at C7, as you rotate your neck, allowing a smoother flow of qi along the governing channel of the body. Notice you are also stretching the tendons from the shoulders through the wrists, relieving stiffness in the shoulders and benefiting wrist arthritis. One more on each side. Open your chest and draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Come back to Wu Ji. Step your left foot out into a squat position for the fifth flow. Flow your hands up and lower them to your thigh. Shake the head and wiggle the tail to calm the heart fire. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hinge to the right, lengthening through the spine and tucking your chin. Slowly rotate your torso to the left, shifting your gaze down to the right foot Carefully turn your head counterclockwise in a half circle as you lift your torso up. Then drop your hips down. This is the wiggle of the tail. Reverse the motion. Inhale. Exhale. Lean to the left. Whip to the right. Look at the left foot. Then slowly rotate your neck clockwise in a half circle as you rise. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, drop the hips down. Two more times on each side. This movement helps lower anxiety by pulling down excess heat from the heart, which belongs to the fire element allowing it to be nourished by the water element of the kidneys below. It opens the Mingmen point, the door of life on the governing channel. This is a great flow for balancing your yin and yang, reducing inflammation and strengthening the lower body.
One more time on each side. Follow the motion, connecting the organs and the systems, the mind and the body. Bring the leg back, arms reach up and flow your hands through the chest line. Bring them to your waist with palms facing the earth. The sixth flow, hands climbing up the legs to strengthen the kidneys. We will do this six times. Lengthen your arms forward and up. Inhale, breathing in heavenly chi. Exhale, pull down the heavens. Part your hands as you flip your fingers and bring them to your upper back. Firmly trace your hands down along the bladder meridian on both sides of the spine, over the hips, down the back of the legs, to your heels, cover your feet and toes. Then trace up the inside of the legs, following the kidney meridian to your abdomen. Bring your hands together into a diamond mudra. Once again, firmly trace your hands over the belt meridian. Then repeat the flow. This movement helps smooth the qi flow in the kidney meridian. The kidney and the bladder are channel pair. You can think of the bladder meridian as the body's sewer system continuing reflex point for all the organs and the systems. The belt meridian is the only meridian that runs horizontally in the body. Massaging the bladder meridian is a great way to nourish all the organs and detox the body. Repeat two more times. This is a wonderful flow for connection and the longevity. Flow your arms down to your waist, hands resting there. Step the foot out into a wide horse stance to get ready. The seventh flow, punching with angry gaze. Inhale, exhale, punch your left fist out as if you are mad. Spread your fingers, rotate your arm inward, and then turn outward. Inhale, wrap your thumb inside the other four fingers. Exhale, pull the fist back with control. Now, the second side. Stare at your opponent as you punch, wrapping the thumb with the fingers in a self-protective instinct we are born with. This is a fundamental practice in martial arts. With your eyes strongly engaged, it strengthens liver function as the eyes are the opening of the liver. When in a horse stance, all six meridians running through the lower body are stimulated. This movement is excellent for releasing anxiety or anger, relieving pain in the arms and the wrists, and improving overall strength. Punch out and pull back. Step the foot back, standing tall, and release your hands down to your sides. Now into the eighth and the final practice, dropping the post to banish hundreds of unices into dust. We will do this seven times. Tuck your chin slightly while projecting the crown of your head towards the sky. Gently engage your core. 
As you exhale, pull up the pelvis floor and lift your heels off the ground, standing on the balls of your feet. Lower halfway, then drop with control. This is a qi harvesting movement we often do at the end of a qigong practice. Gently drop of the heels generates a ripple of vibration through the body, helping to consolidate energy into the organs and the systems. The body feels refreshed and your spirit uplifted. Come back to stillness, extend the arms out, then hug them back in, stack the palms over your lower dantian. For female, the left hand is a dominant hand, so left over right. For male, the right hand is the dominant hand, right over left. Soft breathing, focus your E, your mind, on your lower dantian, your elixir, and notice how your body feels. Feel the qi. The vital life force energy circulate through every cell in your body. Friends, I hope you enjoyed learning and practicing the eight brocades. This is a medicinal form of qigong created in the 12th century by the beloved young general Yue Fei during the South Song dynasty. With its silky and elegant movements, the eight brocades has been practiced and cherished by generations. Please share this practice with friends, like the video, and subscribe to my channel.